respect to guests, teachers, freshers, seniors, and others who are present here. I don't find this. The voice should resonate. When the vice chancellor speaks, the voice should resonate. I am delighted to be the best of the students, the younger generation, whom I like so much for the reason of which I have chosen this profession of teaching. Don't consider me to be an administrator. I am first of all a teacher. And being a teacher, my first love is to be in the midst of the students. I feel it really a privilege for me, more so, to be present on the celebration of the freshest day, 2023, of the Tessa College. In the morning, I happened to be in another college. There also I spoke about how much I like to be in the midst of the students. Because students inspire thinkers. Students inspire teachers, not the other way around. It may so happen that some teacher may inspire you, but the teacher gets inspired by the dynamic student, an individual student. I Congratulate all the freshers who have been admitted today, and not today, today, in this college, today is celebrating the freshers day. Before I attend into this day, I was asked by the principal madam to inaugurate the digital studio. I am very happy and I congratulate the management, the principal madam, and all of you for having a facility which would go a long way in generating a lot of digital resources, particularly from the point of view of Naga tradition, Naga history, Naga culture, and Naga Indian knowledge system. This is the new thing that I have been now talking about. Either you say Indian Naga knowledge system or Naga Indian knowledge system, vice versa. And which is the key, one of the key elements of the national education policy 2020, which has been implemented in the state of Nagaland, and which has been implemented by Nagaland University. Your course curriculum, your course structure, everything has been, you know, revised and has been tailored in line with the requirements of the national education policy. This will not interest you, I know. I will come to the things that will interest you and inspire you. But I don't know to what extent I can be able to inspire you. Still, I will go on speaking something more. After that, I will come to speak about the students. Madam Principal represented very meticulously and with so much of fastidiousness the requirements and the possibilities that Terso College wants to incorporate in the course of development of this institution. And I fully endorse all the things that she proposed. Give it a chance. If it is within the framework of the new system, I am going to approve everything. Even if it is not within the rule system, 
the framework of the rule system. I will try my level best to have the smaller things. It is a very small thing, but there are so many bottlenecks that are created because of the structural reasons of this ecosystem that we are present in. I joined just exactly one year back in Nagaland University, wherein the outlook and attitude, pardon me for being very blunt, the outlook and attitude of people in the educational system in here is very conservative. People, are, people should be allowed to think out of the box, which is not happening. And if you come up with a proposal for me to offer a course, a module on Indian Naga system, I'll be very glad. Madam, to respond to your specifics, like allowing this bachelor in physical education, you'll be happy to know that I myself have proposed to the UGC to open a master's program, a department on physical education to the UGC. So why not I approve when you submit your course cur curriculum syllabus for the board of studies and then to the academic council. I will be glad to support. Regarding biotechnology, I will be the first person. I am a student of political science. But if you talk to my colleagues in the last one year, the kind of things that I do is pro-science not political science. So biotechnology is the in thing in the modern scientific world. And if our students here, the presence, biotechnology presence is very low. And interestingly, Nagaland University is having biotechnology pitching program and we have got some constraints. I was amazed to know about that. I wanted that, I wanted to fill up the post of professor of biotechnology. And the person who has got highest number of scopus in this publication would of course automatically qualify to become a professor. But the, 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 the school of engineering and technology in Nagar University says, sir, ours is as per the AICT requirement, falan, falan, falan things should happen. If somebody is having BSc, MSc, geology, and you know, a PhD from biotechnology from say United States, why not we have him? No, no, sir, it can't be. Then I kept quiet because uh, I have to go through the academic council route where I will just open up. Then there are so many structural, I say, so many structural problems to open up and allow the growth of certain disciplines. Similarly, I had a problem in agricultural sciences. We had a wonderful candidate, of course, I saw that he joined. And I did it through my own interpretation of the things. He has all the publications published in the foreign journals. And he is the fellow of Royal Society of Kebes. He's currently a professor in my university. I'm very proud. And I've got many such kind of people now I'm recruiting. Those who have got very... And I, what I do, you know, at times I take the shortcut. I don't care anybody. I don't care anybody. If for the good of the institution, if I need to bypass certain things, I will do it. It's not the first time I've done it. I was doing it in Mizoram University and I'm also doing it here. Madam, regarding my, this uh, microbiology, please do introduce. Please come up, ask your department faculty to present all the syllabus to the respective schools. I will definitely see that they are through. You next year, next academic session, you please get ready to introduce all these courses. I have no issues in approving those things. Now, students, it's very hard and feeling. <laughs> I saw that the motto of the college, strive for excellence. What else can it be? When you are in academics, you need to strive for excellence. But what is the yardstick of excellence? To what extent you can go to so that you can achieve excellence? 
don't don't panic don't worry i'll explain i'll define excellence in a very simplistic way in our own way you know modest for me excellence is to pursue one's own self to the fullest possibility in achieving his or her objective that is excellence it's not necessary that you have to get gold medal in ma or ba and you have achieved excellence no i don't agree with that i've seen gold medal myself so many times but it did not give me any satisfaction i did not feel that i want to achieve excellence because as long as i have not pursued the desired intention that i have in my mind to the fullest extent possible i have not achieved excellence you may not be to the expectations of your parents you may not be up to the expectations of your teachers but if you feel that you have given it your 100% then i would say that you have reached excellence the whole thing is how to unravel yourself and come out of all the constraints handicaps and hurdles and prove yourself your own worth then i will say you are having excellence excellence is not to become an is officer excellence is not to become a philosopher a scientist nothing in your own life you should feel satisfied you see these are only momentary kind of achievements that would give you some satisfaction for a while but you it has to have a longer satisfaction you should feel at the end of the day what i have done what i have achieved then i would say that you have really achieved something in nagaland university we have tried to we been trying that at least ever since i joined to do these kind of things and now with the introduction of nep 2020 you have everything on the platter you can have fashion designing you can have biotechnology you can have yoga you can be yoga master you can have naga cuisine when college has already started i was so happy immediately i text to have it is have shall i take the name jafu college jafu christian college koima she is also lady principal uh, immediately after the she the opened their laboratory she sent me the photo of the laboratory what a wonderful thing because by having that course they have not started the course but the lab has started and when they come i will definitely support them and having that course you are reaching at a global level now i will relate this digital studio in the digital studio if you can develop a module or a couple of modules on as i already said in the i think it will be yeah digitizing yes digitizing uh three 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 na no? three tribes languages and you know not the the dominant tribe pardon me for using the word dominant it is madam will pardon me because she knows what i mean by dominant tribe she is a student of cultural studies so the the work that we are going to undertake in that so called is is not to record the language the oral history of the dominant tribe rather the tribe which is rather minority tribe if i am correct in my opinion uh that laboratory if you develop a course on this naga knowledge system indian knowledge system and we will put up that in the swayam platform not only that our students will take here that course will make it compulsory to all to take that course and that course you don't have to take in the classroom 
you have to take that course in off online sitting at home after dinner time one hour online course and you write the exam dimapur is the place where you have got the center for swine four days back i had a meeting with the additional secretary online again i am a person who believes in online things and i told to him sir nagaland is neglected and people do not take swine courses because we do not have sufficient number of centers a boy from mon district how can he come all the way to dimapur to write his exam maybe a poor boy then it is noted but for you in dimapur it would not be a difficult proposition you can take few courses what i would request madam principal just let your students take more number of swine courses reason is next year we are buckling up for nac assessment please have sufficient all the all the students should enroll at this one course i am going to have it uh, ready transfer thing we will do it slowly slowly means next year let us by next year because in the next academic council by then we have to frame the rules if you are having a credit course of 2 uh, or 4 we will transfer it for that i think we will evolve you know the uh, rules all the framework of thing but you can enroll get the certificate and give credit and nagaland university will definitely recognize that which is very important for nat accreditation another important thing i just i was inquiring madam and very from her teachers how many teachers are having phds please enroll all of you i would see i am really ashamed of myself when i say this language this is in nagaland university some of the teachers are yet to have phds i got so furious you don't know my language i shout like this i said how come for 12 years you have been working here and not done phd i want that within next year you should register for phd that's the language i speak i terrify people for their positive development i don't mind to verify you if there is some positive development so i request all the teachers please at least enroll yourself in phd program and i for myself one for myself what can i do for you by this saying that i will uh, please do it no i am there for you what is that this year immediately last year actually i came in september immediately after i came i asked how many phds are registered under nagaland university they say very bigger number i don't want to speak for that number immediately i said go for the winter session admission so we have we did some number it was not encouraging but i was not fully encouraged but they said no sir this is a good thing now this year again july admission they are no what i have done you know i have given fellowship to everybody who pursues this 8000 rupees non non net fellowship you pass out from ma i will give you fellowship you do research course work everything in the meanwhile if you can come prepare for competitive examination i don't mind if you get into nps i don't mind if you get ias i'll be very happy but i give you 8000 rupees similarly i request madam to give incentive you don't have to give 8000 every month don't give you can't afford to but please incentivize give some increments something those who get phd three days back i was asking i was interacting with the heads and deans and the pvc and so on to prepare ourselves because i have also submitted the nac assessment this address to the teachers don't worry you might just put i'll come to you again then the teacher said a publication we need uh, incentive 
I said, wait, not now. But I will give incentive for something else. What is that? If you can give me, if you can give me a patent, I will give you 60,000 rupees. For, for publishing one patent. They were really surprised. I said, I have got money, but I will give it, give it in a proper way. But this is the kind of decision, you, the bold distance we took. We have been taking to bring Nagara University to the forefront of the national level. Similarly, I am so much fascinated by the infrastructure here. We do not have, I am ashamed to admit, this kind of building because they are corrupt people. They really, we get hundreds and thousands of crores from central government, but I don't have this kind of building because it's being managed by a private lady. See, you have got such wonderful infrastructure. You should be very proud of the infrastructure that you have. And I wish Madam will take much more progressive steps to get much more facilities for the students. Are you having hostels? Full, full uh, hostel for all the students? Yeah, so now it will be, I will request madam to have a fully residential college. Please do it. Please do it. Then you collect money from them. Don't have to do it for free. Nothing is for free. There is nothing called free lunch. Because madam is a very dynamic person, I am requesting. First time I am speaking to somebody like this. I never speak in a, in a podium like this because I was fascinated. So when you have what hostels for everybody, if she wants, she can get it within one year. If a vice chancellor wants, she cannot get it even within two years, three years. That is the constraint of the public institution. I want to do everything very fast, quick and fast. I am not able to do it. And People are telling that sir is getting impatient, sir we are doing sufficient progress. I said no, nothing is moving in Nagar industry. I say, but there are some changes taking place now. I am happy also within one year we have done something for the students, for the uh, Mr. scholars, for the teachers. Similarly, if you look at that kind of profile and have in the college, I think this college will definitely shine. What is your name? What is your, sorry, what is your uh, grade? B. Next time you are getting A. I have got the experience of visiting colleges and other institutions, uh, I mean universities, as a NAC peer team member, as NAC peer team chairman. For the last spanning, Roughly, not roughly, exactly 20 years. Since 2004, I've been visiting colleges and universities. My uh, experience says that with this kind of infrastructure, only constraint is teachers, PhDs, publications. Of course, for colleges, the percentage is less, not as much for the universities. And uh, in case you need any handholding, of course, already you are in two times, you know. Related, it could be third, uh, you can approach Nagar University. We have a very dynamic IPSC director. You say here coordinator, we say director because it's the university system. So he can also help you how to do the thing. Now the students have to talk about students. I spoke about your pursuit for excellence, all these things that may sound a little bit you know, abstract. But when it comes to the reality, what are the things that you are going to do? How many hours you are going to spend in the library? Now you don't have to go to the library. You can have a remote access sitting in your hostel room or in your uh, reading room. And I think library automation might have been down here. So remote access, you can have and you have to spend more time in reading and writing and thinking. Thinking is more important. If you don't think about what you read and write, that kind of knowledge is 
not knowledge. Then here you will ask me, sir, what is knowledge? For me, knowledge is that which I read, I write, I think, and forget. I forget also. Then something remains in my mind. That is for me is knowledge. And when I pursue that knowledge for a longer time, it is wisdom. You might have noticed what I am doing here. I am speaking from my knowledge. And the knowledge is, I do not remember anything. But something remains, that is my knowledge. Because learning and unlearning are the two sides of the same coin for the pursuit of knowledge. Your unlearning should move faster than your learning. So that what you learn next time when you unlearn that, you learn many things new. That is what knowledge is about. And you are all so fortunate. Because in India, still in Nagaland, still people do not get the kind of facility, the opportunity that we have got here. And you should capitalize during your stay of two years, three years, whatever number of years that you stay here. And take maximum benefit out of it. Money's worth. Paisa asur. Aapka paisa asur hona chahi. Your father is spending 10,000 rupees per month. You should get 30, 40,000 worth of the things. Then only I will say that you are doing justice to your father and mother. Or else you are cheating, you are betraying your own self, you are cheating yourself and cheating to the society. Please do not cheat yourself. Be sincere and honest in your undertaking and be successful. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.